Hey, everybody, what's going on? What's going on? I'm not going to be with you long, but hey, I just want to go ahead and drop a little knowledge for some people who didn't know. So just this week, our 45th president, yes, himself, Donald J. Trump, was just impeached. We kind of saw this coming already. So for some of those who don't know what impeachment is, I'm about to school you and let you know what impeachment is. So impeachment is a charge dealing with misconduct that's brought up whole of a holding officer. So I'm going to say that again. It's a charge dealing with misconduct made against any upholding officer. We just seen it just happen to Trump this week. So Trump is not the only president that has been impeached. Let's go back to our history, shall we? Um, Richard Nixon, I am not a crook, himself was impeached dealing with the Watergate situation. And my frat brother, yes, my frat brother Bill Clinton himself was impeached. But he did remove himself from office dealing with the whole alleged... Monica Walitsky situation. We already know how that happened, but I hope you did know. Anywho, the issue with Trump right now, um, this does not mean that Trump is guaranteed to be removed from office. The big decision has lied on, yes, the hands of our U.S. Congress and half of the Senate. So this was brought up on with them. But some of us don't know this is a four-step procedure dealing with the impeachment. I'm about to let you know how it goes because I didn't know myself. I had to reread and be surface and go back to school on this. So let me let you know. One, we are seeing this with now with the House of Judicial Committee. They bring up the charges that's dealing with the impeachment. Two, the House holds the vote. One or more charges has been brought against the president. This just happened this week, okay? And three, mama cut my lawyer because it's time to go to trial. Yes, that means it's going to trial. So, yes, the United States Supreme Court Justice himself, Chief Justice himself, uh, John Roberts would be doing the trial himself. Uh, the trial base is being approved by the U.S. Senate, and they hold a vote of convicting the president himself. Number four, two-thirds members must be voted on favor of the removing of the president of office. So you know that means if Trump is removed, the vice president comes in office. Mike Pinsky himself. And from what I was told, when he was in office himself, if I'm not mistaken, he was the governor. Pinsky did not play. Y'all think Trump is serious? Pinsky is the real McCoy. I do like... Pinsky himself because of that, that salt pepper hair he has going on. Don't get it twisted. Between him and Anderson Cooper, if Anderson Cooper was not, mm, he would have been, have been calling him right about now. Anywho, let's stay focused on this impeachment. So you guys, if you did not know, the House has to vote on the charges. The judicial, I'm sorry, the House of Judicial Committee has to bring up the charges against that. The House votes on it, one or more charges against that. Three, the trial base hearing. And sometimes this is not an easy process. The trial could take maybe up to maybe a week or maybe a month. Okay. And then four, two thirds of the members must vote in favor of removing the president from the office. Yes, we are happy. Like, yes, the impeachment has happened. But you don't know how it would actually go down. Okay. So if you did not know, look it up yourself. Go on Wikipedia and look it up too. So if you didn't know, now you know. Thank you for tuning in for another Toy Tales. You have a great one. Bye.